Muslim from Mecca? Are you sure from Mecca you are not from Africa? And the wall behind you is dirty? Go ahead, Muslim from Mecca. Assalamu alaikum. Go ahead. Alaikum as So, why do you hate Islam, brother? Do you love Islam? Yes. Why? Because it is the truth. Truth what? We believe in one God alone. Well, if you believe in one God alone, so why Allah, He prayed to Muhammad? Anyone. But I thought he's God. If Allah does not pray, he gives blessing. No, but it says, gives, uh, no, it says, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels praying on the Prophet. Allah prayed to who? It's about the context. So in that context, he's talking about blessing. Okay, as long as you say it so, that means Islam is not religion of monotheism because in that verse says, Allah and the angels, they'd give a blessing, correct? Yes. Well, that means angels are God too, because only God can give a blessing. Um, no, because Allah says it specifically, um, He emphatically states in the Quran uh -huh. that He does not have any partners, that He is alone, that He does not have a son. Okay. Doesn't, so, doesn't change anything. I, you just say it to me. I ask you about this verse, chapter 33, verse number 56. It says, Allah and the angels, they are praying on the Prophet. You said, no, they are giving blessing. Okay. But if Allah is the only God who have no partner, it is only Him should be the one who can give a blessing. Angels don't give a blessing unless they are God. The only one who can bless you is God. But you just told me, that Allah and the angels, they are the one who give a blessing. So you are not monotheist. No, blessing, anyone can give blessing. No, can I can, no, 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 my friend. When you say bless you, you are saying, you are saying, may God bless you. No, man cannot bless a man. Nobody can, blessing come only from God. Do you think you are God too? Yes. No, when I say, when I bless you, right, I'm asking God to exactly. So, so, but, 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 the, but the verse, but the verse in the front of you it says Allah and His angels send the blessing. It doesn't say Allah, because if Allah send the blessing, you see the Muslim they try to fix it. They change the word salah into blessing. Okay, no one, no problem. But now we have bigger problem because now you see that Allah and the angels doing the same exact job. They are sending blessing. You see, if Allah, He blessed you, and Allah is God, and you must then believe only God can give a blessing, then there is no need for the angels. Because if God blessed me, who can not? I'm blessed, that's it. Who need the angels? So, I will the need... The angels are, the angels do what Allah tells them to do. No, 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 read the verse, it never says that. Where it says that? Where it says, well, are you adding words to the Quran? I don't know what I'm saying is the angels are obedient to Allah's command. My friend, no problem. No, angels are not obedient. Where, where, where you get this from? That's what I was talking about. No, the Quran says it clearly that the angels are not obedient to Allah. The angels, actually, according to the Quran, they are a bunch of liars. Is that correct? No, and the angels are obedient. They listen to everything Allah says. They have no free will. Okay, read for me this verse. You speak Arabic? I can speak Arabic. Okay, that's wonderful. That will make it easier for me. Here we go. Chapter 2, verse number 31. Allah, he said to the angels, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. In kuntum sadiqeen. Is that correct? Did Allah say to the angel that you are a bunch of liars? Read it. Uh, in uh -huh. And they could not tell him the names, so they are a bunch of liars. So how a bunch of liars can be the ones send the blessing? 
Blessing of Liars? No, hold on, hold on. I'm holding. Right, the ilm comes from Allah. Only Allah can give the knowledge to the angels. My friend, this is another question. Did your God Allah accuse them to be a bunch of liars? Yes or no? He said to them, if you are truthful, tell me the names of those things. The response is, they cannot tell the names, so they are not truthful. Yeah, they are not, they are not truthful. Thank you. So guys, did, did you hear it? Did you, did you hear it? The angels in Islam, they are not truthful, so they are liars. No, 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 it's because something is not truthful. No, 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 if you are not truthful, if you are not truthful, the opposite of the truth is a lie. He is, if you are truthful, he is not saying you are truthful, if you are, and they fail. So Allah, obviously, he proved that they are a bunch of liars, and now you are saying to me that a bunch of liars can send the blessing to Muhammad? And the bunch, and the bunch... If, if, if I... I ask any other question and it gives me a wrong answer. No, this is not, this is not about wrong. You see, this is, can be a wrong if Allah, he says, if you are wrong. He did not say that word. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. It says, in kuntum sadiqeen. Sadiqeen means if you are, if you are telling the truth. So what is the opposite of not telling the truth? It's telling a lie. If, it, you know, if I ask the computer something and it tells me something that's not truthful, does that mean the computer lied? Yes. Because it's not truthful. No, the computer cannot intentionally lie. No, my friend, you know, I'm not talking about computer. Do Don't mix do what computer. You know, still, computer or not, it's a lie. As long as it's a lie, it's a lie. It doesn't matter who tells it. My friend, has no free will. my friend, wrong, wrong, wrong answer is a is a lie. But because computer is a machine, because computer is a machine, but those are not those are not computers. As you see, Allah is having conversation with them. Yeah, I can have a conversation with a computer. Ah, uh -huh. so Allah, He programmed those angels and they are computers. They are not living beings. Allah says the angels are, do not have free will. They do whatever Allah tells them. Okay, so is it Allah who told them to accuse Adam of doing mischievement then? Doing what? Is it Allah, you told me, angels don't have a free will? Is it, have free will. Is it Allah who made them accuse Adam to do mischievement. What is that? What is mischief? Mischievement, mischievement, which means to do bad, to do, to do wrong. No. Well, I would, I would Allah do that. You are the one who said to me they are programmed and they have no free will. But here it says, yeah, yeah. okay, but here they said, are you going to place in the earth someone he is going to do mischievement? You told me that the angels, they don't have a free will. They say only what Allah said to them. That means the whole conversation is fake. Angels said nothing. They did not do anything. It was Allah fabricating a story. Because you told me, and everybody heard you, the angels are programmed. They don't have a free will. So this conversation in front of us on the screen, verse number 30, all of it is a fraud. It is Allah who forced the angel to say it claiming that he made victory over the angels, proving them to be ignorant. Okay. What okay? You just destroyed Islam. So Allah is a liar too, because Allah, he fabricated a scenario, claiming that the angels said, what well, in fact, those are programmed computers they said what Allah told them to say. So why why the Quran saying and the angels said <laughs> if if you know <laughs> if the one who is do, doing that is Allah? So the whole book is a joke. Who is it a joke? My friend, if you are telling me that the one who is speaking the angels, they have no free will. And Allah programmed them. So the whole conversation here. It's a joke. It's not going to be true because the angel they said, are you going to create somebody with doom achievement in earth and, and shed blood? But you just told me that this is, angels don't say things their own. Allah forced them to say it. So the conversation here is fake. The angel did not say anything. It's Allah. Everything you see in the front of you, Allah is talking. There's no angels then. So Allah, he said, the angels say so. But the fact 
It's a lie. Why can't he have a conversation to something he created a stronger than? But they, they will give him the answer he gave them. <laughs> Okay, is this answer he now here it says Adam would do mischief man? Is that the answer he gave them? You said yes. You said they are programmed, they have no free will. So your God, he has that he told the angel, I'm going to create Adam. They said to him, he will be placing someone who will make mischief and the, their inch of the blood. So who is the one who made this conversation? It turned to be the angels did not do according to you. It was Allah fabricating a story. Angels, they are just software according to you. Allah. Yeah, Allah knows about what will happen. No, no, this is not about don't share topic, don't share topic. This is not about knowing. You said the angels are programmed. Yes. So whatever they say, it's only what Allah told them to say, correct? Yes. So why the Quran is saying they say it here? Just like a computer can say things. But the answer is inside, is given to them by Allah. Yes, it is. Yes, so what? So the conversation is fake because simply the angel did not say anything. This is Allah talking still. Because if I am the one. It gives you a real response. But this is my response. So if I am Allah who knows everything, I am the one who put this answer. I put the conversation, I put the answer for it. So the angels are not there. This is only me talking to myself. Yes. Wonderful. So why Allah punished them? And he said to them, you do bow down to Adam. As long as this is his conversation, you agreed. That means... If Allah wants to, uh, to, if Allah wants to talk to himself, he can talk to No, him. no, this, don't change topic, my friend. Focus when you focus. You just said, Allah, he is the one who gave them the answer. They are programmed. They have no free will. They accuse Adam yes. because Allah told them to do that, right? Yes. Okay, so why Allah punishing them for accusing Adam? Please. No, the angels. Allah, he ordered the angels. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Don't you see it? Right? Yes. Why he command them to, to bow down? Because it's a penalty. Because they accuse Adam of mischievement. So why Allah he is punishing them for a crime they did not do? If this was his answer, and this was his program, and this was his uh, command, and they have no free will. I think, yeah, I think maybe I am wrong. Ah, I think maybe they do have free will a little bit. Ah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> okay, I will go with you. Do you Muslims have a free will? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So when Adam, he commits sin, did he choose to commit sin and disobey Allah or Allah? He made that as a destiny for him. Uh, he chose. Are you sure? Yes. That's wonderful. Read with me the following then. <clears throat> this is your prophet speaking about a conversation happened between Adam and Moses. And obviously your prophet is a time traveler. Because Moses and Adam, I don't know how they met, but things can happen in Islam. So, according to your prophet, Adam's sin was a fate, never was a choice, and there's no free will in Islam. Read it for me, go ahead. Oh, Adam, you are our father who disappointed us. And us out of paradise. Continue. Do you blame me for action which Allah has written in my faith 40 years before my creation? Mm -hmm. 
you, did, you, you jump for some reason. It says here that Adam and Musa argue each other. Musa says to Adam, Oh Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. He, Musa agree with you. And this is what the Christian believe in. It's called original sin. Adam is the first man to commit sin. Because of him, we are out of heaven. That means Musa never was a Muslim because Musa believed exactly what the Christian believed. And then it continues saying, Then Adam said to him, Oh Musa, Allah favored you with his talk, which means he talked to you directly, and wrote the Torah for you by his hand. All the Torah written by the hand of Allah, all of it, not only the Ten Commandments. Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation. But your prophet continues saying, so Adam refuted Moses, and your prophet always repeat anything in three times. So what does that mean? That means Adam, you cannot blame Adam for his sin. He have no free will. It's written in his faith 40 years before his creation. Why is it 40 years? That's weird. Um, this your prophet saying, I don't know. This is very authentic, my friend. This is authentic. It's Al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari 6614. We can show you tons of this reference. The same hadith, Mutawatir. Not only this is authentic, this is Mutawatir. So, as you see, in Islam, nobody have a free will. Use it straight to me. And just don't have a free will. And now we discover that Adam's sin is a, is a fraud. It was Allah. He forced Adam to do sin. For what? Um, what? Uh, that's, uh, so Allah is the one who did it. Yeah, so Adam should not be punished. Why Allah is kicked out of heaven? What the point of this drama? Shaitan mislead Adam and Eve. It turned to be all of it. It's a fabrication. It was Allah plan. He is making a movie. <laughs> he said to Adam, you say this, you do this. To Eve, you do this, you say this. To Satan, you do this, you say this. It's a movie. It's an Indian movie. Mexican movie, Arabian movie, whatever you want, a lot of a drama. And the director, which is Allah in this scenario, he is making up a scenery. Otherwise, there's nothing happening. I just see Adam saying to him, like, do you blame me, you idiot? Do you blame me for something? Which means you cannot blame me. I did nothing wrong. This is not my wrongdoing. This is Allah wrongdoing. And your prophet agree with him. And he claimed that Adam, he won the argument. <laughs> this is religion? Um, yeah, but, yeah, okay, but what's wrong with that? My friend, that's destroy all of Islam because the supposedly you pay for your sin. It turned to be Adam have no sin. It turned to be it is Allah. Allah is the real said, even Shaitan, Shaitan himself is the victim. Shaitan, as you see, the story saying Shaitan, he whispered to them. But as you see, you cannot play. It's a story written by Allah. It's a fate for Shaitan to be Satan. It's a fate for Adam to listen to Satan. It's fate for Eve to listen to Satan. It's fate for the three of them to do commit wrong. And then he kicked them out of heaven. So the true Satan in Islam is Allah. Yes, uh, yes, that's right. I agree with this. Um, so, but uh, I don't see what is wrong. You, you, so you agree Allah is Satan and you don't see what's wrong? I agree that Allah has made us serious. So why is doing that? And so, uh, so what heaven and reward is about? Allah, he make us sin and then he want to punish us for the sin he made us do? Because Allah can do whatever He wants. Ah, your God is mentally ill then. Because what is justice? Justice is about being, you know, the only a God should be just. If God cannot be just, nobody is just. So the true, the true evil in this world is Allah. Then, if Allah wants to 
to be evil, he can be evil. He can no, no, he's evil. evil. My friend, he don't need to be. He's all evil already, as you see. This is an evil plan of Allah. For you, for me, for everybody. That's what the Holy Prophet is saying. Is yes. Okay. Allah can do whatever he wants. No, so, you, so I agree that Allah himself is very evil. If Allah wants to be evil, he can... No, be no, you, you keep saying if. He, already we proved that he is evil. Because this is evil. If I make you commit sin, and then I will punish you for the sin I made you do. Isn't it, this is evil? Yes, it's evil. But that's, if Allah wants to do that... So what shaitan, do, so what shaitan for? Shaitan, he did nothing. Shaitan is just an actor in the movie, hired by Allah. Allah is writing a book, 40 years before he uh, make the movie happen. He said Shaitan will do this, Adam will do that, he will do this, Angel will say that. So all of them, they are victims. How this is, can be from God? Because God can do anything, yeah. You see, uh, okay, God can do anything. Can so? Are you saying to me, God can be Satan? If God wants to be uh, an angel, he can be an angel. If he wants to be anything. No, but here he is. A, he chose already to be Satan, as you see. He is Satan. There's no Satan in Islam. Allah is Satan. Because Satan is not the bad guy, according to to the Quran. It's Allah. Satan, he whispered to Adam to commit sin. Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve commit sin. But as you see, the whole story was made up by Allah. And all of them, they are just doing their job. Satan, he did what he should do, according to the program of Allah. Adam, he should do, he did what he should do, according to the program of Allah. Eve did the same. So everybody doing his job. If I am you, I will leave Islam right away. This is, can't be from God. This is, first of all, childless. Secondly, it's satanic. Number three, against the nature of God. God is, you know, is, is almighty, is holy. So why we call him holy if he is evil like this? What is this? He's, he's, Shaitan is a good guy here. He's a victim. In fact, the Quran confirmed that Shaitan is a victim. If you go in the Quran, who is the one who deceived Shaitan? Allah. Read with me. If Allah wants to deceive he, look, Allah is... No, no, my friend, you keep saying, you keep saying, you keep saying, if, if, this is not if no more, we prove it. Allah is that the, actually the Quran says and you speak Arabic my book my, my my book called the deception of Allah why based on the Quran isn't it Allah says in the Quran the one who Allah deceive Yudlil nobody can guide Allah is the deceiver there's no question about that but now we find out that all deception in the, in the earth and the heaven is made by Allah and shaitan himself as we see in chapter 15 Verse number 39, it says, Iblis said, Oh my God, he, he believed in Allah. You misled me. In fact, in Arabic, it says, Awaitani, you deceived me. I shall indeed deceive them. So Allah, he deceived everybody. Allah deceived Shaitan. Shaitan is a victim of Allah. Adam is a victim of Allah. Everybody is a victim of Allah. And then this God, he claimed to be a holy God. But then there's no holy about this holy God because as you see, he is the devil. And what? I don't get the arguments. This is not about he can do. No, this is not about he can do. He cannot. How come your God cannot have a son? Suddenly, Allah can do whatever He wants, huh? He said he said he he doesn't have a son. No. He said why he cannot have a son because he didn't have a wife. Your God Allah is a man. Okay, 
so what's the point? Well, the true God, he can have a son without having a woman. You just keep saying to me, a gun, he can, his God, he can do whatever he want. But your God in the Quran said it clearly, how can I have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Well, this is my case. I don't, I don't, I'm not married. So me and Allah is the same. If you ask me, do you have a son? I would say, how I can have a son if you don't have a woman? In order to have a son, I need to have a woman. Allah cannot be God. The God of the, God of the Christians, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. Why? Because he's almighty God. He can do whatever he want, but Allah cannot do whatever he want. He need to have a son. He can have a son only, as you see here, and you speak Arabic, only if he can get a wife. When you came here, you told me, Allah is one God, correct? Yes. All right. And you said to me, Allah, he declared he have no partner, correct? Yes. Why Allah keeps saying we? What this we is about? Allah keeps saying we. It just means him. But why is he saying we? Um, because he can. Oh, but if he's one, why is he saying we? Did, did he use the wrong Arabic word? He can say we, he can say anything he wants. He can say me. No, but you see, me. you must you keep saying that Allah, he speak good Arabic, right? Yes. All right. Is it right to say we, but I am just one? Or this is wrong. If I am one person, why I keep saying okay. we? Um. Sometimes, you know, you can say we sometimes, you know? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. I got it, yeah. But I'm, I'm repeating my question. If I am just one, why I keep saying we? If he is one, that means this we is fake. He's lying. Why Why you are saying to me we? I mean, Arabic is so clear. Either you are many or you are one. What the problem if Allah he don't say we? Is it going to be a problem? Why he think he is... I heard Muslims saying that this is because it's a majestic... Do you agree with that? Yes. Wonderful. That means Allah don't like to be one. It's not majestic for God to be one. It's majestic for God to be three and more. So Allah, he don't feel good about being one. So he decided to say we, maybe that will make him more respected. Maybe he's lonely. Like the movie, there's a movie, it's called The Perfect Host. This guy, he sent letters to himself. He sent postcards. He make dishes in the table, but there's nobody there except him. We are eating, but he is only alone. We are talking, but he is only alone. So, your, your God is mentally ill. Not. Well, here we go. Um, Let me show you other proof in the front of you. Do you see it says here Allah is the best of the creators? Yes, He is the best of creators. Well, how many creators there is? Um. He's talking about everyone else, you know. Like we, what everyone else? If there's only one creator, what everyone else? Is that McDonald's? Me. I can create. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. The creator is the one who created what does not exist. 
you create nothing. If you make a bicycle, no, no, this is not a, this is not a create. You are building a house. You are not creating a house. I can create. Uh, I can create money. Job. You cannot. No, no, those are not creation. This have to do. You see, the Quran gives definition for what a creation. And your God, he used the word Zubab, which means fly. So the one who can create a fly is the one who called the creator. The Quran says so. So don't may go there, you know. The one, chapter 22, verse number 73. Why you worship somebody? I mean, you worship gods who cannot even create a fly. This is what the creator means. If you can create a fly and above, you are a creator. Can you? Creation is not about making bicycle. Don't fool yourself. Same time, if you go to the previous verse, Allah was speaking about creation of the baby. So when I say Allah the best of the creator, there's me, there, that means there's other creators who make babies too. You see, if I'm talking about making bicycle, and then I say I made a bicycle, I put the tire, I put the frame, I put the light, I put etc. I put the seat, uh, okay, and I am the best of the creators. So obviously I'm talking about what? Based on your logic, creating a bicycle. But I just confirm that there's many creators and I am the best. If Allah compare himself to you, that means Allah is a fool because is it Allah who created you anyway? God, he created himself with the one who he created him. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it your Muslim who says you cannot compare Allah to anything? Isn't it the Quran says nothing like Allah, which is a verse taken from the Old Testament, nothing like God? So how he say is the best of the creators? If there's nothing like God, then there, this, this verse is, is wrong because simply it's a fabrication. Is it true Maybe that... Maybe it's, uh, it's just a mistranslation. My friend, you speak Arabic. What translation? <laughs> I mean, this is, can be said by somebody who don't know Arabic. You know Arabic very well. and you, Your name is Muslim from Mecca. How is Mecca doing these days? Fantastic. Are you kissing black stones? What? Are you kissing the black stone? Look, kissing the black stone is something more than Ah, why he did? Why he did? Why he did? Because it's to praise Allah. Ah, so if you kiss the black stone, you praise Allah? Yes. As I heard, it is different reason. I heard that the black stone erase your sin. Yes, and it erases your sin as well, yes. So I thought Allah only erased sin. So Muslims now, they are pagan. They kiss a stone and they believe a stone erased sin. Yes, it does. Mm. So is Allah is the best who erased sin? Or he and the black stone is the best to erase sin. Allah gives the power to the stone to erase sin. <laughs> That's deep. That's very deep. How the stone now can erase sin? It's a stone. Because Allah gave it the power. I heard that the black stone became black because of the blood of the women from their vagina. What? No, that's not true. Do you want to bet with me? No, that's disgusting. That's not true. What? That's not true. Okay. I heard that the black stone used to be white, correct? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, and how we came back? Um, because of worship. You know, people kiss it, you know. Hmm. So the black stone was white and sin make you black, correct? Uh, it's just wear and tear, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, so he, the black stone was white like milk, right? Yes. And the sin made the black stone black. Yes. So sin caused you to be black. Huh? Huh? So sin caused no. you to be black. No. What? You just say that. You say that the black stone used to be white and the sin made it black. Why not the green? Why not the blue? Why not red? Because black does not mean sin. Black, it just means, uh, it's just a color, you know? What, what color? <laughs> well, I know it's a color. So, the question is, why sin end to be black? Uh, why not? Why, 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 why Allah did not send the, send the black stone black and then the sin make it white? Because black is sin and white is uh, not sin. All right. I want you to read this with me. I will show you this in the screen. And because you speak Arabic, that will help me. Atlas al Quran, do you see it? Do you see it? Yes. All right, it says here in the book of Al Kashaf, Tafsir, verse number one, chapter 127. Gabriel, Jibreel came with the black stone from the sky. And it mentioned that it was in the month of Abu Qubais. As long as you are from Mecca, then you know Abu Qubais, correct? Yes. It's a small mount close to the Kaaba. And then the mount split and the black stone came from it. And it was hidden in it during the time of the flood of Noah, correct? Does it say that? Yes, it does. Okay, and then it says, and it was like a pearl, but when, a white pearl from heaven, but when the ministration blood in the time of Jahiliya, it touch it, it become black. Does it say that? It become dark. It become uh, black. Yeah. Yeah. What? What make it black? The women the blood from their vagina. Is that correct? Uh, I'll have to look for the sources for this one. Well, I just, I'm, I'm showing you this. I'm my friend. I'm showing you the screen. Did I show you the screen? Did I show the reference? Did I show yeah, the? I need to know where this where, where this where you got this from. I just, it says in the front of you, the book of Al Kashaf, where number one, this is Tafsir. Yeah, but Tafsir, yeah, but Tafsir is, you know, anyone can make Tafsir. Yeah. Ah, anyone can make Tafsir, anyone can make Quran, anyone can make whatever, you know, anyone. <laughs> That's a good one. So, uh, the, you know, there's tons of books, it's not only this, my friend. Let me show you the from one. Here we go. Let me pause the first link. Well, let's go here. This is a different book. The book name Majma al Bahrain. I will post the link so maybe the admin next time we look for it, you guys can post it for people. And please share it in Rumble and in YouTube. Here it says, it's given you a lot of information about the Kaaba, about the black stone, sorry, that it used to go, the black stone, 
It used to be a ruby from the rubies of heaven and used to have two doors. One made of Zumurud. One is east and one is west. And then Allah, he says to Adam, go down. And I will send to you something you go around. The same they go around my throne. So Adam, he went to the, to the ground and he went to, to India. And the angels, they received him there. And he did uh, Hajj. Adam did Hajj. And then here it says, <clears throat> read with me. And the black stone was hidden in Abu Qubay's mount. And it used to be white stone or white ruby from heaven. So when the women of blood from ministration touch it in the time before Islam became black. You need more sources? Yeah, about, I huh? What do you mean you cannot believe it? I, it's, I, it's the black stone. Well, it is, you know, so, so, <laughs> did, this mean, did this mean in the blood? Be honest with me. Did you smell any blood when you kiss it? No, it smells very nice. It smells very nice because they spray around it all the time. Always there's a guard next to it. He have a biff buff, the one you use them for, for in the toilet, in the, in the bathroom. You know? Okay. Yeah. So what smells very nice? As you see, it became black because of the blood of women coming from their vagina. Is it true that women and men... Yeah, so what's wrong with that? Well, because the black stone is a vagina. The black stone is made in the shape of a vagina because this is the vagina god, the god of fertility. So people who don't have kids, they go when they have their period. The women, if, they, if a woman have her period, obviously she is not having a baby. So what she do? She go and she touch the black stone, hoping that that will make the god of fertility, Allah or Baal, or the or scene make her have a child i'm just trying to translate guys the page is not translating with me i'm just trying to show Wait, did you say scene from your scene scene from your scene exactly scene scene or sin is the moon god i don't know for some reason this page is not allowing me to translate i tried everything Yeah, it's not working. What do you think, my friend? You want to stay as a Muslim after what all what you learned today? I will have to go to my Imam and ask him about this. Why you don't call your Imam right now to join us? Tell him there's a guy here. His name is a Christian Prince. He knew more than all the Imams, including Imam Murrah. What do you think? Because they are busy right now. Are they are busy doing what? Nikah? What they are busy? What they do? I mean, what those imams do, do for a living? Nothing. They teach kids. Uh, they teach kids what? How to touch the black stone? Listen, I think that's a. Uh... You know, that area used to be pagan. I understand. It used to be pagan. But now it is no longer pagan. Well, your prophet, isn't it your prophet is a pagan man? Why he kissed the black stone? Can you show me the verse from the Quran that says Allah told him to kiss the black stone? There's no verse. But, uh, so, why he kiss it? There is no verse. So, why he kiss it? Because uh, it's a barakah. Blessing, kissing the... So Muslims are pagans, you know? Kissing stones, worshipping stones. You pray in front of a stone. You bow around a stone. You, it's you... not pagan if, if your prophet did it. Well, he's a pagan prophet. <laughs> he's a pagan prophet. And as you see, 
This is what the Arab used to do. This is why the people around the Kaaba used totally to go naked, right? Until now, you Muslim, you go naked around the Kaaba. You wear a sheet. The sheet, this is an Indian sheet. This is a religion coming from India. This is another thing. Yes, we go naked. What's wrong with that? Because this is what the Hindus they dress, the Hindu priest, they have their own Kaaba, they do their own Hajj, and they have a black stone which present the penis and the vagina in their Kaaba. And the black stone is the remain stone of the vagina. But is it today is no longer that, we don't do that anymore. You see, you just said that today is no longer, but that means this is what it is. Who cares? It is this. You do, it, no, you do. No, you do the same. You are doing the same as the pagan did. So don't tell me you don't do no more. You do the same. You go around the Kaaba. You go naked. You dress the same as the Hindu. You have a vagina and you have a penis. And you claim that the Kaaba is the one. Uh, 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 is the house of God where the black stone, uh, you know, uh, and you said you are agreeing that black stone erase your sin. So who need God? Nobody. God gave it the power to erase. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I will ask my chef and I will ask my imam and I will come back. All right. Well, you can come back anytime, but if I am you, I will leave Islam right now, my friend. I mean, this is horrible. I will have to ask my chef first. No problem.